welcome on the journey. I'm picking up for some of you that you're very excited about something and there's this pit. And I was picking up on this the other day too. Pit in my stomach. Something is coming. Let's find out what that is, shall we? We're looking at the current energy today. And that is whenever you resonate with this message is the current energy. Wow, we're coming out with the High Priestess. In my last reading, I had the High Priestess. So I'm being asked to visit this, revisit this concept of moon energy the female, the divine female energy. And there could be a Pisces that this represents. Somebody who has secrets and it could be this Pisces. Somebody has a mask on and they're not telling you all of the facts. They know something. There's a decision here or somebody is trying to make a decision whether or not to tell you something because they're, they're torn. It might affect your friendship or a relationship. We have the Three of Swords. This, this, this um, communication could really bring you pain. It could, it could really make you feel as if your trust has been betrayed. I, I think of the Three of Swords. There's that Saturn energy, and Saturn is about. The responsibilities, those duties, those delays. It's just take a deep breath. Karma. So remember what you have put out is what you're going to get back and it might not even be your energy but maybe somebody is feeling pain for something that they did or didn't do. Maybe somebody hasn't been communicating with you and it could be a Pisces. You're going to need strength to get through this and there might be a Leo who's part of this situation. In fact, there might be a Pisces and a Leo involved here. They're both looking back at this heartbreak, at this pain that they may have caused you. And They know it was wrong. This energy is hitting my solar plexus. Again, I keep coming back to that. So it's about people who may have been critical of a love that you have experienced or people who were in their ego, in their pride, Maybe people who were kind of greedy and were looking to have their image. They didn't want their image to be tarnished. So instead of doing the right thing, they decided to conceal the truth and it broke your heart. Tell me about this Three of Swords and this heartbreak. Mm, there could be a Scorpio involved here. This could be your energy. And there was an ending. Something ended here. There was, as soon as it began, it, it, it ended because of
something happening under the surface of the situation. Tell me more about this betrayal that caused an ending between two people. Tell me about this ending. Ha! There's a justice. So justice is going to to be restored here in the situation. There something happened. Whatever happened affected this love and it wasn't fair. There was a love here. Tell me more. Tell me more about this justice card. Could be a Libra involved. This really has affected your heart, your feeling of trust in a relationship. And you've been really having to heal your heart because you've been really hurt. In fact, I feel that there was a lot of conflict around a love. There were a lot of challenges and, and it brought, it brought the sense of loss to your life. Somebody, somebody was interfering in, in the situation. We have a mouse up here and somebody was being secretive and sneaky and really not sharing something with you. And in fact, maybe completely ghosted you because of something that happened to people who held on to a secret and didn't share it with you. Somebody really felt abandoned in the case, but there, because I think that there was an opportunity here for two people and some other people intervened in this situation because because it had to do with the public image, had to do with somebody who, who was high standing in their career. It had to do with money. There's a weasel in here. And that means it's t it, you have to trust your instincts. You know something happened here that these people betrayed you in a situation and that there are secrets that you don't know yet still about the situation. We get one more card. Whoa, not that many cards. Okay, there was too many there. All right, that's what I was looking for. Temperance, so it could have been a Sagittarius involved in this mix too. When I think about temperance, I think about that, that balance. There was some, something happened that it was extreme and it really hit your confidence here because people were meddling in the situation and playing, playing with two people's hearts because there's two cups here. And there was this amazing love flow and symbioticism that happened between two people that others were involved in and caused an ending to. There could have been this equal give and take if you just add another pentacle, five to six, there could have been a very equal cooperative relationship, a loving relationship that could have happened between two people that was interfered with. All right, interesting relationship, <laughs> interesting reading. I am getting kind of choked up, I'm kind of blocked in my throat chakra too. So there's something that needs to be communicated here. The truth needs to be told and someone needs to tell you something. And 
and it needs to be very clearly communicated and you need to speak up for yourself and have some boundaries in the situation because maybe you've been trying to avoid an argument in knowing something was going on behind your back. Let's see what you're releasing here. What do you need to release? What do you need to release at this time? What do you need to release? Ooh, yeah, the throat chakra was something. And oh my goodness, we have a lot of cards here. A lot of things to release. So first of all, take the throat, throat chakra. So right now you might have had a lot of, a lot of thoughts going in your head about the situation that happened, this betrayal, something in that it's caused you to, to go out of balance in your, and you might have like really had a lot of doubts and insecurities and there were people telling you what to do in this circumstance, but you were trying to fight that and, and maybe you reached out to somebody behind these people's back, but then they were meddling and other people were meddling. And so it kind of has put a block in your intuition. Your intuition does know though. So just follow those feelings that you're having right now, because there's, you need to stay solid in yourself, no matter what is going on around you in not taking on other people's energy. But there's a lot of energy that has been affecting your energy. And the reason why, if you've been wondering why these people would do this to you and to cause this ending of this beautiful potential that there was for love is that they were envious. They wanted what you had. They're trying to survive and they're, they saw something between you two and it may have been a little taboo because we have the death card here. And it really threatened people. Let's get you a crystal angel. Ooh, or four. Lots of messages for you today. Malachite. Prosperity. So there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Ruby. Rubelite, passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. And this is part of your divine life purpose. So trust the signs and inner guidance which are leading you to, to fulfillment. <laughs> Couldn't say that there. Fulfillment, I meant to say. Aquamarine, so you have a life you have a divine life purpose that is going to bring you a lot of prosperity. So it doesn't matter who's been jealous of you, who is jealous, who's been interfering, who's trying to cause you pain, who's, who's trying to affect your confidence, whoever's digging at you, making you trying to bring out these abandonment it's almost like a narcissistic abuse of kind of situation as well and picking up for some people there's there's an opportunity in in following through on your divine life purpose that's going to bring about a transformation for you let's get a message of healing from archangel raphael what is the message of healing what is their message of healing Consult a nutritionist. So I turn my eating over to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, haha, <laughs> fulfilling, fulfillment. Okay, there is something to do with that, that are fulfilling and support my ideal health and weight. So if some of you are struggling right now with maybe drinking a little too much, maybe eating a little too late at night, maybe eating the wrong things. You're being asked to 
follow through on clean living because this is really going to help you with your divine purpose here which I feel for some of you that you might be a light worker yourself that you might be into energy and that your your purpose is to is to work with people to guide them upon the path of light as they go through their own pain and their own challenges and struggles survival I'm gonna get you some blessings a blessing to bring prosperity so again we have two messages of prosperity and when I think of a three I think of it, your interactions your collaborations community working together with people and right now with mercury retrograde happening and we're in the pre shadow period and we're moving into it and, and all the way until the end of May we're gonna be in that mercury retrograde you're being asked to hey, there's some apples here eat some apples and to really work on your 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 stability and security your what makes you feel safe so that your needs are met, your basic needs are being met. What do you need for your basic needs to be met? Sleep, eating healthily, meditating. And then we have a blessing, it's upside down, but I don't take it upside down. A blessing for healing of injury or illness. And the last reading I had, had this card as well. And I feel a lot of you are trying to heal this broken heart of yours because there have been people trying to break your heart on purpose, trying to keep you down, trying to make you feel that you weren't safe, trying to keep you destabilized because they feed off of your energy. That's part of that's part of the crazy chaos of this situation is that there are people who are feeding off of your energy. People who are masking being kind and loving, but underneath really just looking, they're very envious and looking to destabilize you because it's easier to create chaos, that negative chaos that destabilizes somebody from following their divine purpose and bringing light into the world. Because you have to be like me. It's that feeling of pulling you, people pulling each other down instead of building each other up. I'm going to get you a few, a few messages here of inspiration being the change. Empathy. I can be present in the moment and feel compassion and connection to others while staying in my power. So this is because you are a super empath, you can still keep your power, your center and understand that these people who are feasting off of your energy and trying to tear you down because they don't understand why you're so light how you got there it's not easy for people to understand why some people are so attuned to their life purpose and their passions and how they are able to just manifest things and create prosperity in their lives through keeping a high vibration and that's foods and foods and beverages can really help in that regard too. Collaboration, again, there's that three energy. Coming together creates momentum. When I join forces with others, anything is possible. So instead of if this is a partnership where there's two people who've been just fighting and there might be an ending in the relationship, you're really being asked to balance the situation and make it fair for both of you by staying in your power, 
go with your intuition. What else, spirit? You are valued and appreciated by many. Just remember that. Focus on what really matters. Don't worry about those people who are envious because everybody has their own different challenges and life paths and they're on their own journeys. So the goal here is to allow everyone to win. And one more, Ooh, two more, I guess. You have great consideration for others. Give your life new meaning. Wow, great reading. Complicated, there's a lot going on. There's been a lot going on in the past and you're healing through this and you're going to win. You're going to have a lot of prosperity if you work with others. You join for forces instead of coming against each other. Thank you very much for being here with me on the journey. And until we meet again, bye.